So welcome to a Peak District Dovedale walk. Me and nine other friends went for a walk around the Peak District. We aimed to 13 miles and it turned into a bit of a 20 mile adventure. But yeah, this video is going to show you some of the things we saw, some of the things we got up to, and just a general insight into what it's like to hike in November in the Peak District. Let's go. So every camping trip starts with the chopsticks and a flat white. But yeah, after getting very lost after Leicester services, we managed to finally find our camping spot. This was an Alston field and it was beautiful. No electric, no heating. I'm gonna do a little welcome to the crib. <laughs> Someone was getting the candles on. We've got the wood burner down there. Shit, you're going full on with the coffee grinder. You're measuring out and everything, love it. Kettle is on. She. So after familiarising ourselves with the barn, we head upstairs and set up our beds. Fred had a hammock, which is really cool, and the rest of us were in inflatable beds, apart from myself, who had a puncher. Um, yeah, we started to inflate our beds, and off we go. Squeaks coming from everywhere, and we're just about to head out for our first hike just down the road. This is us running to the top of the hill, literally 50 metres from the barn. Absolutely stunning views. So it's like one. It's Mooney though. Can you see out the back? At the front? Rowan, get on your knees. Rowan, ready? So it's time to wind down, get some dinner in, pot noodle and cider, and then start heading to bed. We had a big hike ahead of us tomorrow, and yeah, this fire was lovely. We were all kind of ready for bed and prepared for a wonderful night's sleep. So we won't call out names, but nobody got a great sleep. It was a very loud, snorry night. But we're now all packed and ready to go for the what we think is about to be a 13 mile hike. But it's gonna be a lot longer than that. Off we go, leaving the barn. Here we're just heading towards the start of the trail. GoPro footage, zoom in. <laughs> there we go. That's it. And the start of the Dovedale walk. We didn't know what we were in for. It was stunning. <laughs> Bad experience, this is bouldering. The fact that it's good, they're casually like, yeah, this is normal. Like, you're gonna miss the good So a little vlog update, I think we're around three to four miles into our go uh, hike and um, pace is okay, we should be back at some point today and um, yeah it's beautiful here, very beautiful. <laughs> gang gang. Gang gang. Hate gang. <laughs> So after visiting what felt like 15 caves, we were heading quite close to the stepping stones and we were about to be there, get the selfie stick out and obviously get one of those classic photos. So here we go, stepping on the stones and the snapshot is taken. The issue now is crossing and Abby is gonna demonstrate that for us now. So. There aren't enough stepping stones and you just have to get wet or wear something waterproof or go barefoot.
<laughs> oh, he's he's a bit the big boy. <laughs> oh, they are swinging as well. <laughs> oh. I'm going to pass out, yeah, I'm going to pass out anymore. Selling a school, is that? Oh, no, it's an F. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's a letter you don't have. Oh, oh, oh. And then the other one's a die. So we have E, which is an A and an E put together. Oh, I know that actually. Then we have an O, which is an O with a dash in it. Yeah. And then we have an R, which is an A with a circle in it. What does that one mean? Yeah. That's like asking you. Oh, like these. oh my god, I've got to get a First thing, last thing. Last thing, yeah, I like, I like the twilight. This looks like a good resting point. That bench looks even more like a good resting point. Yeah. <laughs> So this walk has picked us off one by one. Some of us were tired, some of us were hungry, and some of us were wet from hours before. But yeah, look at this sunset. It made it all worth it, and I think we all realised as a group here that, yeah, it was. this is why we're here, this is why we did it, this is why we put the effort in, and uh, we were making our way back to, back to camp now, so it was all looking good. Selfie time. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> the only thing is, is it's probably going to be me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are you going to make a montage when you get home? Make a little montage, yeah. Stick it on YouTube. Forest cave. And a bridge. Squirrel. This bridge is safe for Just a little nap. Please tell me. Hi. Has this been the best experience of your life, Joshua? So the head torches have come out and yeah we're we're getting close now. We can't help ourselves but stop at every pub. But yeah, shout out to the Royal Oak and their team who fed us later on in that evening. Really nice pub, I highly recommend it. No, I just got a So we've been so lucky with the weather today, don't we? Yeah. yeah. It was nice to have that little like sun come out as well for the sunset. Just behind this. So after surviving a herd of cows and finding our way, we made it. We got back to the camping barn and yeah, I think all of us were happy to see it, to be honest. Ready to get into some dry, clean clothes. We did it. So we finally got back in the barn and got that fire straight on. But it represented something different tonight. It's about feeling the grind, the fatigue, the hunger, and pushing on, and that burning desire to complete our 20 mile survival adventure. Yeah, it was good to be back and get some food in. So yeah, we all headed up for night two. It was a great night. 
and we were all ready to hit the sack. But yeah, the next day we were off to Bakewell. This would be where some of the party were leaving us to head back to our hometown and some of us were going to stay one extra night in the barn. Yeah, driving to Bakewell was great, really good views along the way. The weather was terrible but we managed to get to the official Bakewell bakery and have the most amazing lunch, get some food back in, have a joke, have a crack and have a walk around this lovely village. There were great shops to visit, great places to go and check out and yeah it's a good, good way to finish the vlog I thought so thank you for watching and hopefully catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to comment and yeah if you enjoy this video share it but apart from that peace out. Thanks for watching, you know the drill, like, comment and subscribe if you can. My slogan, dreams are a step away, and remember, show compassion, show esteem, and have fun out there. Peace out.